I'll sit you guys down here. Oh, you set up. Oh. Oh, there's two down. Let me give you a side view here. I um I live in this van full time. Um, but I work I also work full time too, so the nice thing is this bad boy has an awning. Which sometimes they do not. Um, a lot of the uh, vans that people use or make don't have some of the creature comforts that um, people have. This is one of them. I personally now it is another you know some people will say oh I don't want that because it'll break blah 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 but you know if it breaks just replace it now the nice thing about this awning is that it will mount to the van. I can put the. I have a couple of options. I can put the legs in the van, or I can put them on the ground. This will be the first time that I decided to put them on the ground, so this ought to be interesting. Hopefully, um, the wind cooperates with me today. Because if it doesn't, you're going to have real problems. It's a pretty big space, I mean. Especially like if it's raining or something like that. Or... And you need a space all your own. It's not bad. Um, let me tighten this up a little bit. There we go. All right. So, now that that's set up, what I'm going to do is uh, take you guys inside because I'm getting ready to cook lunch. A friend of mine's going to stop by and we're going to play some music together and just relax and enjoy the, uh, enjoy the day. So, you guys, come on in, and I'll get you set up. Just in case you were wondering what I was using for uh, my phone mount. New Orleans jambalaya rice. <laughs> all right, so there she is. She's all hooked up. Um, I have a hookup for water and electric. So, got electric, got water. And also, I'm going to hook that up. I'm uh, relaxing today. So, let's go inside. All right. Got some stuff on the stove here. Let's switch you guys around. Is the water boiling? That is the question. Yes, it is.
sweating like a pig, by the way. That's one of the most, um, that's one of the things that no one really talks about that I've seen online is when you cook in a small space like this, the heat is right here, especially if you're, and I got the AC blasting. It's literally on full blast right now, and I'm covered in sweat. Um, so be mindful of that. If you don't like the heat, this might not be, if you don't like, period, if you don't like being uncomfortable, period, this might not be the lifestyle for you. It might not be the lifestyle for you, mate. Just got to tell you there. And bugs. There's another one. All right. So the neat thing about this um, this van is it has a couple of different things. It's got this little slide out here that I can use as a cutting board. And right now, I'm making... I'm going to make some okra. I'm going to put some pepper. It's smelling really good in here right now. Really good. Um, so I just washed the okra. I just got to cut that up. And then the peppers. You get those ready. So I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. Set a timer for 20 minutes. All right, so when you're cooking in a tiny space, as you can see, I only have two burners. Most people have multiple burners um, outside of just two. So, oh, and I'm a vegetarian, so that's why I'm eating oat here. No, nope. they're not. Delicious. Um, this vegetarian thing came as a bet from my brother. Um, so with okra, you want to make sure that you cut this top off here, like about right there. You don't want that. Um, and about right, right there, you know. And we get rid of that. We. Man, it's hot as monkey out from here. Oh my gosh. This air conditioner is like a waste of, uh, it's like a waste. I'm gonna have this on. It's not doing anything. Um, so we're cutting off right here. My father grew over it. And, um, as kids, we really hated it, um, but as an adult, I began to appreciate its, um, its value, especially if you know how to season it and you understand how um, how it works. It's a different vegetable, you know. If you put it in a stew, it's going to be slimy. Um, if you... Fry it. It has to be fried just right, or it's not going to taste good. And unlike peppers, okra is totally different because you can you can leave the seeds in okra and be totally okay. They're not gonna they're not gonna harm you. Um, it doesn't really. Man, that smells good. Um, it doesn't really have. To the average person, okra does not have a flavor. But to people who have a um, sensitive palate, I would say okra certainly retains its um, its slimy factor because it, it's slimy. I mean, you know, as I'm cutting it right now, it's it's literally slimy inside. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, it's okra. Uh, 
So, but it's it's huge in the vegetarian vegan community, okra. Um, but if you're a carnivorous person and you're not from the south, you may not you may not you know enjoy it. My father is from the south. I'm pretty sure that's where he got it from. He didn't talk much, so there was no way to really get that information from him. And I have this really cool, like, unique... You see the slime hanging from it? Um, I have this really cool, like, multi-purpose tool here. It's got a wine opener, fork, spoon. It's got everything I need. But I'm going to set my um, my iPad up here shortly once I get everything on the stove. And uh, I'll answer some questions if you have any. All right, so now that I have these, um, these I want done a certain way, so I have to pay attention to how I'm doing this. Um, so I like okra like a little bit burnt and crispy on each side. Um, and if it's not, it just doesn't necessarily taste right to me. So that's how I like it. Um, I'm hooked up to a water supply right now, so that's why I'm like not caring about how much water I use. Normally, I'm freaking out. Normally, I'm freaking out. That sound that you're hearing is the system bypassing uh, the water pump. So now it's clear. So what happens is with a, with a camper van, if you have a water pump, I mean, if you don't make sure all the pressure's out of the line, when you turn it on, see it's like shooting out at me. You don't you don't make sure all the water's on the line and run into these issues uh, where it's like 
shoot me out of here. I guess I should stir this rice at some point. So I turned this rice down to like low, and the flame actually went off. Wow. I've been sitting there this whole time with no flame. That's incredible. So that's my first lesson. Pay attention to the flames in Steigen. Okay. So I'm just gonna have to turn that up. All right. So now I have some peppers in the fridge down here. Um, I was dating a girl, really, really nice, um, really nice girl, um, and she was just literally, like, I can't tell you how amazing this girl was in words. Anyway, she loved these peppers, and I had never tried them before, and now I'm hooked on them. So, these peppers are like, they're like sweet peppers, but they're, they look like, um, they look like colored jalapeno peppers or colored habanero peppers. Um, and she put them in everything. I mean, literally everything. Um, and they were... They really did add a flavor to certain dishes, so I'm curious to see how they taste in... Um, in, in this okra. I just want to say hi to... Maga, how are you? I know you're watching. Um, I also want to say hi to all my uh, YouTube subscribers, because you guys are awesome. And literally, um, you know, van life is really lonely, so, you know, when you have subscribers that are following you, it helps a lot. So, my buddy's getting ready to show up, so um, I guess we're going to have to call this it. But anyway, these peppers are really good. Um, I encourage you to, if you're living in a van, to test out your culinary um, taste buds. All right. All right. Well, it's awesome spending time with you guys. Um... And it was awesome cooking with you. If you guys have any um, ideas on dishes or anything like that that are way easier than me sweating my butt off inside this van, I'd really appreciate it. It would save me a lot of time. All right. Well, as always, I love you guys. And here is to a successful van life. Cheers. <laughs>